Hey everybody, it's me Kim. Welcome back to my channel. Yep, just woke up, washed my face off and all of that. TMI, I know. But I decided that I'm going to change my wig. The start of a new week. Uh, I go back to work tomorrow night. Had a birthday last night, y'all. I'm 54. Hey, for 54. Um, and I wanted to come and give you an update on this week that I got from Amazon. Um, was it, was it AliExpress? I put all the information below because I forgot, was it Amazon or was it AliExpress? But I do know that I, I bought this week. <laughs> um, but I washed it with Tresemme. Now there's only three things I use to wash my wigs out with as well as my hair. Um, I like Tresemme, I like Shea Moisture, and I like the, uh, Lucetta black Jamaican castor oil um, conditioner but on this one I use the Tresemme and um, before I'm gonna put on my um, my ball cap I moisturize my hair with design essentials coconut and then I seal my ends with the omelet oil if you're not hip to the omelet oil do you research Some really good stuff so I moisturize my hair and I seal my ends. Um, I'm going to put on a cap. The man gave me the wrong color. Well, the lady at the beauty supply store gave me the wrong color. So I have to either find a brown cap or use this black cap or just don't use none at all. Um, I haven't determined which one I'm going to do yet. But so that's what I'm going to do. But I wanted to come and show you the guys the texture of this hair. So after using this, look how that bounces. Like I'm hardly moving this um, wig and look at the bounce in this hair. This is a really nice wig. Um, this was a 14 inch wig that I got. And um, I already pre-plucked everything when I wore it before. But I just wanted to come and put it on. So... Okay, I found one in my drawer in my stash because I'd rather use the brown because it helps out with you know um, the parting area, making it look more pronounced and stuff like that. So let me just spray my gotta be glue, um, freezing spray on it to mold down the cap. And we're gonna let this dry. Okay. As when the um, hairspray dries, you're supposed to just cut the cap off. Well, cut the cap to your cut the cap to your hairline. So once you get your ball cap on, and um, it's gonna look like this, or better, depends on you know how you do it. No. Um, you can put some foundation on it, but I choose to leave it this color. Um, and then you're going to take your wig. And like I said, I'm going to be using this one that I got from... Let's look inside, because sometimes I write the names of Sapphire. And this one's from um, AliExpress. Sorry. I got this one from AliExpress Sapphire. Um, it was months ago. Oh. Put the actual video of the um, unboxing in this clip right here. But um, I wanted to come show you the parting space. Long parting space. Wig hair is still pretty nice. Like I said, I washed it with Tresemme conditioner. And so once you get all that on like that, then you want to take your wig. And you just want to put it on. And uh, I have an anchor braid in the back that I always use for when I do my um, braid down. I always put the anchor braid in the back. And so this is what it's going to look like. Now, as you can see, I need to cut off a little bit more right here. So that's what I'll do.
And I have my mirror right here. And once you put the hairspray on it, it's going to be easier to cut off pieces that, you know, get in your way. Because the hairspray is what's holding it down. And it's get you, get you a good pair of scissors to help you with this. Because if you don't have some good scissors, you're going to snag it. It's not going to look right. So, once you have it lined up with your ear tabs, you know, the way you want it. Gonna make sure that it's on your hairline, right? And as you can see, that it's gonna be on my hairline, right? And then you just want to start gluing it, or you can use your um gotta be hairspray, but I keep mine on for um <clears throat> a couple of days, so I'm gonna be going in with my um ghost bound glue. And um, I got it so sticky and everything, so I have to always take a broken pair of scissors that I have. Uh, I have broken pair of scissors, and I use that, or I use the end of a tweezer, or I just use a popsicle stick or anything I can use. I'm not gonna lie. So let's just use the back of the tweezers, and um, you want to start putting it on your hairline. And you want to make sure that you smear it in good because if you smear it in good, then it'll dry faster. So you want to make sure you just put it all on your hairline. And once it turns clear, which it could be a lot clearer, but it's clear enough for me. You want to um, lay it down. I usually go in circular motions. And you just want to start rubbing on the sides of your head. You can go in circular motions. You can mash it down. I like to go in circle motions, though. just so I don't disturb the hair pattern. And then I always take my brush and I brush down just to give it that extra hole. I mean, people do it different. This is how they mind. And then you have it. The wig is on. Then you go to styling it any type of way you want. Once you feel like it's all laid down and tight enough, take off your scarf. Well, I put a scarf on after I am. Then you see how pretty that lays down. And baby hairs just came in on his own. I didn't even do those. Uh, it was the way I plucked it, I guess. But see how it is? So, let's put a little curls in it. I um, heated up my curl iron um, at 230 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, got this curl iron off of Amazon. I'll put the link below.
Hair curls really good. Just want to put a little bend in it. As you can see, the hair curls really good. So I just wanted to put a little bend in it. I don't put a lot of curls in my hair. I just put little bends. Unless I'm trying to achieve that really, really curly look, then I'll put a lot of curls in it. But for this, I just want a little bit of bends in the hair, that's all. This hair curl is really nice too, guys. This was a very affordable wig. Like I said, I'll put the actual unboxing of the wig link in this video. There you go. So, very inexpensive, affordable wig. Um, Nice curls. I could have did this side better. But you get the gist of it. And so that's what I wanted to come and show you guys. Sapphire hair. Update on sapphire hair from AliExpress. Peace. Don't forget to love one another, okay? And don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you to my subscribers. Bye.